This is a tutorial to show you how to create a rotating tiny planet. And it's really the easy way. I already have my clip down here. I'm using Final Cut Pro. I already have my clip down here ready to work with. I've already trimmed it. First thing we need to do is go to the effects, to the Dashwood VR toolbox. Grab the stereographic little planet effect and pull it over and drop it on. That automatically gives us a tiny planet, but we need to adjust a little bit. So let's go over to our tiny planet effects. Make sure we're at the very beginning of the clip. And change the scale. I want to make this a little bit bigger than it is. That should do it. Now I want to create a rotating effect, so we'll start with the pan. Let's go ahead and make sure we're at the beginning. And go ahead and create a keyframe there. Let's adjust the pan to start with. To where the person walking is on top. And the goal here is kind of keep them on top and in the middle as best we can as we rotate. It's about there will work. All right, now we have the person on top. We want to keep it on the top. Lay the video forward a bit until the person gets a little bit off center, then we'll stop. Add another pan keyframe and then move it to where the person is back on top and in the middle, or at least close. Then we'll do that again. Play it again until gets off center a bit, set another keyframe, adjust the pan. We can keep doing that all the way around until we're back at the beginning or to wherever you want to stop. We're all done with that. We should have something that looks a little bit like this. And when I'm ready to export this, go down to export, change my settings to the best quality. I leave uh, 9840 times 1920 4k and I'll just hit next tiny planet 
it's already there, but we'll replace it. All right, now that's done rendering. Let's see what it looks like. There we go, that looks pretty good. What if we wanted to put a different background in rather than the average guy that comes with the uh, Dashwood tools? We'd have to use a mask to do that. Let's go to the effects. Just search for mask. And this shape mask here does the trick very well. Let's drag that over. Now let's adjust the way it looks. We want it to look like a circle, kind of giving the um, a tiny planet an atmosphere. And then we can fill in this black area with something behind it. So let's go over and adjust the shape mask. Change the curvature, because we want a circle. Then we can go over and adjust the size. That looks about right. We can feather it a little bit. And then we can go in and find a background that we like. Let's just look at, we could do a, a color. Probably not that color. these and it would look like that I think stars looks pretty good it's like we have a tiny planet out in space then once we have that we can export again settings, make the best quality, keep the resolution at 4K, and hit next. We'll call this one Rotating Tiny Planet Stars, and save. Replace the one that we've got there, because we got a new one. All right, now that that's done, we can see what our Rotating Tiny Planet looks like in space. looks pretty good. So that's it for this tutorial. Creating rotating tiny planets. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.